KOM TV first on Guam. KOM News Headlines are presented by Calvo's Insurance, protecting Micronesia for 85 years. Matson and the Adahi Itano program. Apply at matson.com. Cars Plus, Guam's automotive leader in sustainability and electric vehicles. Learn more at carsplusguam.com. McDonald's of Guam, I'm loving it. And King's Restaurant, serving your local breakfast, lunch, and dinner favorites for over 45 years. Ahead on KUAM News Primetime. Two alarming home invasions just 24 hours apart this week. I'm Mitsuki Hirayama speaking with a law enforcement expert on how to respond if you find yourself in these disturbing situations. A teenage girl comes face to face with her alleged abuser as she takes a stand in his trial. I'm Julian Hernandez with more from the courtroom. The Commonwealth Casino Commission meets today on their agenda with the revocation of IPI's exclusive casino license. I'm Tomas Maglonia with a full story coming up tonight. Half a day and buenas noches. When Benidu para KUAM News Primetime, Guahu Sinek Delgado. Sa Guahu si Destiny Cruz, si Zosma Asi Puri Manano Mizu Guini na programa. Well, a man convicted in a deadly beating in Dededo will spend 21 years in the Department of Corrections prison. Branty Wallaby is sentenced before Judge Alberto Tolentino in Superior Court today. Wallaby and his brother Jaron were accused in the deadly 2022 attack along Fatima Road that claimed the life of Arnold Naroon. Last December, a jury convicted Branty of manslaughter, aggravated assault, and assault. Prosecutors noting Branty never expressed remorse for the crime, adding he is not a U.S. citizen and faces deportation. As reported, his brother Jaron has since admitted to his role in the killing. In continuing coverage of the PD home invasion, where a man woke up to find an intruder allegedly tearing down his walls to look for dead bodies Monday morning. As Matsuki Hirayama reports, it's just one of two alarming invasion, home invasions just 24 hours apart this week. Yeah. New video footage surfacing of the alarming home invasion that disturbed an otherwise peaceful PD neighborhood along Turner Road Monday morning. Why would you break down my wall and tear all the stuff an out here? In the Bible that spoke about a wall being broken down and then it's plastered. I got you, got you. All right, you hold still. The video showing 46-year-old Mark Nedadog the moment the resident caught him in the alleged act. As KUAM reported, a PD man woke up to loud noises inside his home before coming face-to-face -face with Nedadog. The video showing damage to the wall. Nedadog allegedly tearing it down, saying he was looking for dead bodies because God told him to do so. It's unclear what his mental state was at the time, but it's just one of two home invasions just 24 hours apart this week. On Tuesday morning, a Sinahanya family waking up to an intoxicated stranger allegedly climbing through a window into a teenage girl's bedroom. That suspect identified by police as 25-year-old Ann Ludwig. And while the PD resident was able to safely detain the suspect until police arrived, a law enforcement expert says there's no right or wrong response to this potentially dangerous situation. University of Guam Legal Studies professor and former Guam Police Department chief Frank Ishizaki. Some people are, are going to take aggressive response and action and others are not. So I think each of us have to decide. Uh, how we're going to respond individually. And, and some people are not going to want to confront. And some people may surrender. And some people may just freeze and, and hope the bad guys go away. Uh, so there's no one solution to this. But I got to give kudos to the victim uh, for good outcomes and for uh, bravely dealing with the adversary. He emphasizes the best course of action is to take prevention measures and secure your home. I think we got to take extra measures to to prevent somebody from breaking in. And 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 then we've got great technology today, you know, whether alarms or lights or solar lights or uh, cameras and our phones are loaded with all kinds of technology. The Guam Police Department also provided input. You can view more on KUAM.com. Mitsuki Hirayama, KUAM News. And in other news, an alleged child molester on trial watched as his accuser took the witness stand. Julian Hernandez reports. A teenage girl faces her alleged abuser. 
Trial is underway for 40-year-old Gregorio Dena Marquez, the case being held before Judge Vernon Paris in Superior Court today. He stands accused of allegedly groping the girl. They allege abuse starting in 2014 when she was just seven years old. The jury hearing testimony today how the defendant allegedly molested her. The latest alleged incident occurring in September 2021. Defense attorney William Gavris questioning, quote, You testified that after Gregorio touched your butt, you ran out of the room? I ran like sped walk run, the victim stated. Gavris adding, You said he touched you. You turned around and you gave him a dirty look? The victim responding, Yes. Gavris then asking, and he kept his hand on you for four seconds. You waited four seconds? She testified, I didn't wait, but I was just in a state of shock. Defense also calling out the victim for giving conflicting testimony. Attorney Gavris telling the child, the reason I'm asking those questions is because it's hard for me to understand. And perhaps you can explain to me how those things make such a priority for you when you told your teacher that you weren't paying attention in school because you were distracted of what Gregorio did? The victim saying, that was at that point, a point before she reported the alleged abuse to police in April 2022. Dena Marquez is charged with five counts of second-degree criminal sexual conduct. Trial is ongoing. Julian Hernandez, KUAM News. A drug dealer gets four years in the U.S. Bureau of Prisons. Mariano Canetta is sentenced before Chief Judge Francis Sedinko Gatewood in the District Court of Guam. He had since pleaded guilty to distribution of methamphetamine hydrochloride. The case unfolded in June 2019. Investigators undergoing that Canetta sold three point, uncovering rather that Canetta sold 3.7 grams of meth for $1,500 to a buyer in Hoggett. Well, the Commonwealth Casino Commission is expected to vote on the future of Imperial Pacific International's gaming license on Saipan. Tomas Manglonia with the latest. The Commonwealth Casino Commission convened Thursday morning for a regular meeting where they discussed the upcoming revocation hearing for Imperial Pacific International's casino license scheduled for April 2nd. IPI did try to submit other settlement uh, offers, but um, it is not to be entertained uh, because since, it's, since it's, it's, we, we only have limited time and it, it involves uh, multiple parties and at this point, it is, it, we're, it, as we continue to develop our conversation, and I just don't think that uh, it's going to have merits by the time uh, your deliberation reaches. So we're, as, of, as of now, the boss is going and there's nothing stopping the train. However, the revocation hearing could be postponed depending on the NMI District Court's decision on the casino's recently filed emergency temporary restraining order calling to stop it because of alleged due process rights violations. Meanwhile, the CCC clarified that the evidentiary hearings for revocation only included two out of five enforcement actions as part of their legal strategy. One was the non-payment of the 2020 regulatory fee complaint. That's in the amount of $3.15 million. Um, also, the other one is seek, that's seeking revocation is, also, is, is the one that uh, the, the three months working capital in the amount of uh, $4.2 million. Uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a restricted account, uh, either cash or cash equivalent, um, reserving such amount for, for IPI to uh, you know, have their operation going and, uh, and meet their payroll. They said those are their two strongest arguments for revocation. KUAM spoke to Senator Karina Mogofnia, who chairs the gaming committee and attended the meeting. It really comes down to what the administration wants to do with the industry itself, and I'm hoping that you know, um, they can find the middle ground. Finding that middle ground is also a race against time. The commission is requesting more government funding to continue its operations past April 13 or until IPI's case is closed. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan. A roach infestation at one child care center in Sinahanya led to temporary closure and the suspension of its sanitary permit by public health. Health inspectors under the Division of Environmental Health observing multiple live cockroaches throughout the establishment, including in the infant diaper storage shelf and toddler playroom closet. Inspectors also receiving complaints of cases of hand, foot and mouth disease and reports of the microwave used to heat baby bottles being in terrible condition. However, at the time of the inspection, these claims were unfounded. Meantime, the child care center may request for reinspection after correcting cited violations and meeting all requirements. 
The weather has admittedly been a bit awkward lately with conditions being hot and dry and then rainy and overcast from one day to the next. But experts are predicting a high likelihood of extreme fire threat heading into Easter Sunday. Landon Idlet with the National Weather Service says blistery winds and dry grass pack dangerous potential that could escalate into a very serious situation this weekend. Looking at some possibility of extreme fire conditions for Guam, and that's the first time we've seen that in several years because it's been a wetter, wet season the last several years with La Nina, but this year it's drier. And so we could be crossing some thresholds this weekend, especially as the winds increase. And so we really want to get the word out of the high fire danger for the island for this uh, holiday, this Easter weekend. The fire weather watch starts tomorrow and lasts through next Monday. Please, you're asked not to burn outdoors this weekend and humidity will be as high as 60% with possible wind gusts possibly hitting 40 miles per hour. Time for a break, keep it here. You're watching KUAM, your leader in local news. Threads Guam Thursdays, presented to you by Threads Guam. Visit threadsguam.com to shop online. Introducing GTA Scratch, save and win. At GTA, everyone wins big with huge savings on the latest smartphones. Here's how to play. Get a scratch card when you sign up for a new Live Unlimited plan. Then scratch and save up to $500 off your new smartphone. It's that easy. Plus, one lucky winner will instantly win a free phone of their choice. There's never been a better time to switch to GTA, Guam's most reliable network. Don't miss your chance to scratch, save and win with GTA. Visit us in-store or online at GTA.com. For the first time in 30 years, Coors Light has an ad in the big game. Actually, this is a Miller Light commercial. <laughs> Mountain Cold Refreshment. It's Miller time. Great taste. Let's fill it. Cold as the Rockies. Coors commercial. Miller commercial. Actually, it's a Blue Moon commercial. Rooted in the community since 1995, Kmart is here to serve you 24 hours a day. From essentials to fill your pantry to delightful treats, our selection of groceries have everything you need to stock your kitchen with love. Step directly into style with the latest fashion finds in shoes and clothing for the family at unbeatable prices. Turn your living space into a dream home with our unparalleled selection of home goods. Illuminate your shopping experience and brighten your budget every week with our blue light specials. These specials are a testament to our commitment to offering the biggest variety for the best value. Discover a world where quality and savings meets convenience. Kmart is your one-stop shop where every visit is an adventure. Shop smart and save big at Kmart, your Guam shopping destination. Order Pizza Hut now and get a free large pizza later. That's a free pizza on your next order. So you can pizza now, then pizza again. Free pizza means your next dinner is covered. Your future self will thank you. Get it while it's hot, only at Pizza Hut. Welcome back to Primetime. Well, it's been almost five years since the ribbon cutting of the Central Precinct Command in Sinahanya was held. What should be a place that is visible in the community has it these days been more of an eyesore with peeling paint, broken lights, and overgrown vegetation. Joe Gancharfaris has more on the building and what the Guam Police Department's chief describes as really unsightly. Like many on their daily commute on Route 4 Sinahanya, Public Safety Chair Senator Chris Barnett drives by the Central Precinct Command every day while on his way to his office. You know, I called the chief uh, last year and I told him, I said, hey, my staff, we'll get the water blaster, we'll get the paint and we'll, we'll paint that uh, precinct and, you know, let's light it up and uh, let's make it the beacon of public safety that it should be. The $4.2 million building, which was opened in June of 2019, boasts holding cell areas, backup water and power generators, an outside patio, multiple administrative and operations offices, a training room and interview rooms. It was built to meet the needs of the growing community. But these days, the central precinct looking bleak and bare with peeling paint, a barely there lawn and overgrown vegetation. Guam Police Department Chief Stephen Ignacio, who was touring the Central Precinct on Tuesday, says much of the wear and tear on the structure is a result of Typhoon Mawar's heavy rains and strong winds. 
and says the agency has taken proactive measures. We have already filed a claim with FEMA. It is in the FEMA portal, and I believe the cost estimate uh, for you know the the, re, the repainting is uh, a little bit over thirty some thousand dollars. Navigating the process has proven to be a challenge. Following the completion of a site inspection with FEMA, the claim now awaits review, a step that he says unfortunately cannot be rushed. And what's uh, frustrating for me is that, you know, we offered to do this, uh, we offered to address it, but the chief had told me that uh, he was going to get uh, it done as part of the Mawar recovery. Well, Mawar was almost a year ago. And it Ignacio says that while offers of assistance to spruce up the precinct are appreciated, he adds it's crucial to understand the intricacies of the FEMA claim process. There's still a lot of recovery going on, you know, that we're working towards. It's clearly now a waiting game to bring the Central Precinct Command to its once pristine state. Uh, people of Guam uh, deserve better. And really, you know, if uh, we're talking about uh, boosting up uh, public safety, and uh, getting the public to respect public safety. We have to show that, you know, we respect the public safety facilities. Jonah Gancharfris, KM News. With Mesh Moral coming to a close, Chief Stephen Ignacio has finally provided comment on a recent order handed down by Colonel Joseph Carbolito banning the use of the Sanahi and any cultural statement within the Guam Police Department, claiming it gives off an unprofessional appearance. As KUM reported, the ban was brought to light by officers upset by the order especially during a time when we were supposed to be celebrating the Chamorro culture. Ignacio, unaware of the order initially, says the GPD is a paramilitary organization, but they are revisiting the policy to see if a compromise could be made. No, I, I do know. You know, sometimes timing is everything. And, uh, you know, could we have done it in April? Could we have done it in May? You know, uh, we do have a, we have a new uh, police colonel and, you know, uh, we finally fill the position. And so, you know, we're, we're going around making our rounds and uh, he's going around making his rounds and meeting with people and addressing some of the concerns, uh, you know, throughout the department. We want to make sure that our officers are safe and what they wear, you know, is uh, appropriate uh, to uh, the profession. It was on Friday when Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio spoke on the matter and he said he would meet with Ignacio and Carbolito to discuss the ban and how it could be addressed moving forward. Ignacio says that he has yet to sit down with Tenorio but looks forward to it. Well, state funeral services were held today for the late former Speaker William Don Parkinson, the father of current Senator Will Parkinson. The elder Parkinson served seven consecutive terms in the Guam legislature from 1983 to 1996. He was elected Speaker of the 23rd legislature in 1995. His son delivered the He eulogy. taught us that public service is noble and necessary, that one can serve with integrity and hold true to important values like freedom and family. He strongly believed that it was important to give back to the island community and country in which he lived. And my dad loved politics. Where others wore the title of politician with sheepishness, he wore the title of politician with pride. And among politicians, let it proudly be said, he was among the best. The late Speaker Parkinson passed away in the Philippines during the pandemic and was honored posthumously. He is survived by his I wife, Marina, seven honored. children and Chief five Jeff grandchildren. It may not seem like a big deal, but for many high school seniors, foster children and disadvantaged youth, acquiring a government ID holds the key to getting a job, higher education and essential services. A bill by Speaker Therese Terlahi waives the fee for a Guam ID or Real ID card for those groups. It was welcomed by, among other education, others including Education Superintendent Kenneth Swanson. The, the importance of having an ID is, is uh, a, a gateway to other services. And so I see that if we can get uniform requirement from other agencies, for example, from the community college, from the university, from other other business entities that, that want to hire or bring people on that they have to have a government issued ID. As long as we hold hold those requirements for everybody, then it becomes uh, a value. Then I need to get this for me so that I can go do what I want to do. Other options such as a passport or driver's license may not be available to most disadvantaged children. Revin tax officials said they would have no issues implementing the fee waiver.
Now to a message from one of our sponsors. With over 46 years of the worldwide ministry, the Universal Church has been bringing faith for a better future to many families throughout the world. This Easter Sunday, the mission continues to bring the power of faith to the families that have been affected by violence, addictions, and depression. Pastor Samuel is once again at the field house with a family that will join this event. Thank you so much, Nick and Destiny. Three days left, three days for the Day of Power, Easter Sunday here at the UOG Calvo Field House, bringing to you many, many families on a daily basis that will be joining us on this day. Today I have the Nuchu family, right? Yes. You guys are from which village? Derido. Derido, and originally from where? Chuk. From Chuk, all right. And you have many who are watching us right now from this village, also from these islands, and they will be joining us on this day. And by the way, you can already call the numbers at the bottom of your screen where you can reserve your seat and also the oil that you will receive, the holy oil blessed in Jerusalem. Now, Empina, you were telling me before that you came to the, the Universal Church going through a lot of trouble, right? Yes. And this pro what were these problems? Uh, me and my husband, uh, we don't have peace. We always fight. We came from work like every day. We came from work drunk. Drunk? Was there any other problem? Yes. Any uh, addicted to what addicted else? Addicted to smoke. Smoking. Yeah. And uh, during uh, Piranat, uh -huh. Copenhagen. A lot of stuff. A lot. Girls, how would that make you feel knowing that no dad was, was going through all these problems with addictions? Angry. Uh, pass it down, pass it down. Angry. What else? Sad. It didn't bring peace to the house. It was always troubles every day. And, you know, yeah, it was just no peace at all. No peace at all. And that might be your, your situation. That might be the case with your family. But on this day, the day of power, we are going to be together. We're going to be anointing for, for prayer. And we are going to be asking the God above to help you who feel powerless. You might have a giant-sized problem, similar to what they were going through. But know that the same God who helped them can also help you. Today, and Pina, pass the mic back, please. Today, and Pina, how's things between you and your other half? Uh, today, my, me and my husband have peace. Uh, there is no addiction in our family. Everything is just uh, good and we are uh, staying in peace. Happy. Happy. The same can happen with you. The beginning of a new life is awaiting you at this event. Easter Sunday, Jan uh, March 31st. At 10 o'clock in the morning, you are welcome to join. All you have to do right now is call, text, or send a WhatsApp message to 671-971-7171. It's free to join, and also everyone present will receive a bottle of the holy oil blessed in Israel. Again, 671-971-7171. Now for your world at home. Here's a view of the iconic Saipan sign in the northern part of the island. Fiery. Ooh. Troy Palamalu Safety, AKA the Quiet Storm. Troy's seen more out of the corners of his cold steel eyes than most mortal men have seen straight on. The last thing an offense would witness? A fury of flowing mane incoming at high speed. Hey! Cat-like quickness and supernatural instincts like Troy's only come once in a lifetime. And oh, how grateful we are that they came in ours. No one made the beloved burg of Pittsburgh feel quite as safe as this safety. The Hyundai Tucson with advanced safety and tech because even safeties could use a little more safety themselves.
Find a plan that goes with your flow. Get unlimited local talk, text, and data at the most affordable rate with unlimited flow postpaid. The Cantina Chicken Crispy Taco isn't just a late night taco, it's a seasoned and slow roasted chicken taco that pairs nicely with the new avocado verde salsa at any time. Introducing the new Cantina Chicken Crispy Taco, only at Taco Bell. The Cantina Chicken Burrito isn't just for late night, because it keeps it light with slow roasted shredded chicken and finely shredded purple cabbage in a freshly grilled tortilla that's not shredded. Introducing the new Cantina Chicken Burrito, only at Taco Bell. Going for Gold is presented to you by Prime Hydration and C2O Coconut Water, distributed by PDC Wholesale. Fencing is a discipline that should come quite naturally to any Guamanian. No, 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 not that fencing. The sport is alive and well locally, attracting athletes skilled with agility, patience, discipline, timing, improvisation, and reach. I'm hoping to get you know more outreach. Uh, we do try to give beginner classes. Uh, as you see here, we have one beginner student. Uh, he's working with the plastic weapons, and uh, we do have uh, five coaches. So uh, we have the uh, equipment, we have the people, we have the expertise to train more. So uh, a lot of opportunity to expand uh, the sport of fencing on Guam. But we need a level up to compete at the Olympic level. Anthony Camacho has been helping to lead a small but devoted community of enthusiasts who embrace that very challenge. What we're trying to do is build uh, uh, the expertise in the athletes themselves and build the, uh, our coaching ability uh, to get to the point where we can train athletes to uh, participate in Olympic qualifiers, and then we'll have a shot at it. Guam competes regionally in Oceania, but we don't have a spot in the Paris Games this summer. We need more competitors to elevate our fencing. With our five coaches, uh, there are more opportunities to get into the high school level. The Guam Community College does have a fencing club. Uh, that's where one of our coaches are uh, located. Uh, but we don't really have anything in the junior high and the high school uh, or the elementary schools. That's really key, because when you start training them from young, uh, the eight-year-old that's taking fencing today, that's our best hope at having an Olympic qualifying athlete uh, in the decades to come. Now for cross-training, fencing is the perfect complement to your regimen that leads to any other type of event from a variety of athletic backgrounds. Well, if you can play basketball and you've got the height, you could be a fencer. But if you're in a, one of those martial arts sports, I, it's an easy uh, uh, conversion to fencing. Or soccer, where obviously the ability to run backwards is an important skill, and you're good at that, you'd also likewise be good at fencing. So if you're good at chess, you'd probably be good here, because you are thinking two or three moves ahead of your opponent. Height does give you an advantage in this sport, but it's not everything. There's also speed, and there's also cunning, you know, and strategy. So uh, those are important aspects as well. The potential's there, and Camacho knows where we're headed. We just need the desire on guard. For me, I'd like to uh, one day train uh, high performance athletes that are capable of competing in the Olympics. Going for Gold is presented to you by Prime Hydration and C2O Coconut Water, distributed by PDC Wholesale. Our new McDonald's Spicy Chicken McNuggets are just the right amount of spicy. A small to medium Sprite kind of spicy. A uh, let's get a McFlurry after this kind of spicy. But if you get the mighty hot sauce, it's a napkins up for foreheads now kind of spicy. Uh, this came from McDonald's kind of spicy? Because our Spicy Chicken McNuggets breaded in tempura and made with cayenne are just the right amount of spicy. Unless you remember what I said about the sauce. ba da ba ba, -ba. Don't need to work, babe. Keep the smile on your face. The moments you can't replay, and I'll be around. Wherever life takes you, we're always here for you. Calvo's Insurance. Count on us for life. Properties in the Tropics is presented by Remax Diamond Realty. We're Remax Diamond Realty agents. Of course, we greet you with tradition. Viva Mes Zamoro. Then Felix Pascua and Resurrection para todos los amigos y familia 
We're Remax Diamond Realty Agents. Of course our company colors are red, white, and blue because we support our troops. We're Remax Diamond Realty Agents. Of course we're gonna keep you up to date with our current listings and some noteworthy closings. We're Remax Diamond Realty Agents. Of course we're breaking records. Yup, you heard that right. In this market, we're closing all time highs in sold prices. Flora Pago, originally a four bedroom, unit 1001 closed in February, 2024 at 355,000. Harvest Residences, two bedroom closed in February, 2024 at 295,000. A Lupin Cove condo, two bedroom closed at 450,000 in March of 2024. On to some single family closings. This two bedroom Orda Oasis sold over asking at 550,000 in 72 days with multiple offers. 115 Challenge Le Guao sold at 598,000 to a VA buyer, 60 days on the market. We are Remax Diamond Realty agents. And yes, we're gonna keep impressing you. Did you know that we have almost 200 listings, both active and pending in MLS? But more importantly, did you know that for the last seven years, we have been the number one sales office for all real estate firms on Guam? We're Remax Diamond Realty Agents. Of course, we're gonna share with you our active listings, ready for showings, and waiting for qualified investors and first time homeowners. Here we go. Have you ever seen three Las Palmas units first sell all at once? You heard it here first. Las Palmas phase three, all three bedrooms, 2.5 bath at 1640 square footage of living space. Unit 313 at 548,000. Unit 357 at 538,000. Unit 356 at 528,000. Unit 180, Villa Isabana, three bedrooms, 2.5 bath, listed at 550,000. We are Remax Diamond Realty Agents. Of course, we're going to be the first on your mind when you need to buy, sell, lease, or have any questions about real estate. Outstanding agents, outstanding results. That's us, Nicole Sablon Patricio, Melody Bloss, Francis Guerrero, Colleen Bloss, Ki Song, Madeline Campos, Deanna Palmer, and Brandon Burns. Properties in the Tropics is presented by Remax Diamond Realty. Yap Culture Day is happening, everybody, and we, the island community, is invited to celebrate with our brothers and sisters the beautiful, wonderful culture of Yap. Please enjoy and celebrate. Please come down Saturday, March 30th, starting at 10 in the morning at the Ipau Amphitheater, our own Vic Falan will be emceeing. I know he's really, really looking forward to that. He's such, such a proud member uh, of a member of the Yappies community, and we really look forward to celebrating with him. The SNP Clinic is heading to Sinahanya, so if you want to do the responsible thing and get your pet spayed or neutered, please participate. Check out SNPCliniceGuam.com. It's April 1st through the 4th from 8 to 10. And the Autism Egg Hunt is happening up in the CMI, so please get involved with that. It's a Easter event, obviously, Saturday on the 30th at the Sugar King Park. News Bites on a Thursday is awesome, as always. It's birthday wishes time. Here's your Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club shout out submitted on KUAM.com. It's Thursday, everybody, the 28th of March. So happy birthday to Josephine Chrysostomo and to my beautiful wife, Josephine, your loving husband, sons, Joey, Christopher, Glenn, daughter-in-laws, grandsons, granddaughters, siblings, and your brothers-in-law and sisters-in-law say we love you always and enjoy your special day and God bless you. To Shay Lynn, I hope you have the most wonderful day ever. Today, you are entering the beginning stages of becoming an adult. I am proud of you and the person you've become and I'll love you forever. Please have a safe trip home, my forever baby. XOXO says a very proud mom. And happy birthday, Ta. Frankie Augustine, we love and appreciate all that you do and may God continue to bless you. That's the gates in Mizu Primetime Show. Sizu is Masi put Nenega Guahu Sinek Togaro. Saguahu Si Dastini Cruz, Nafan Safu Hamsi, Saguase Ipoini.
off this month's show at the JFK track in Tumon. It's episode two of our series, Paris Playbook, as we get ready for the road to the Olympics. That's right, and today we're trying our hands and our feet at track and field, and who better to show us than Guam's best track and field Olympic athlete, Regine Sugati Watson. Check it out. She's a runner, she's a track star. She's two-time Olympian Regine Tagati Watson. So excited to see a former teammate, but more on that later. I feel your excitement too, Sooks. I can't wait to meet her. Plus, Jules is joining us today too, so I know we're gonna have so much fun. Hi, hey. how are you? Good to see you. Hi. All right. <laughs> Yay. Oh my gosh, we are super excited. Um, we, again, we are getting ready for the road to the Olympics and who better to learn from than you, girl. And literally, we are super excited because, you know, we're, we're not avid runners, but we are here to learn, again, from the best. We're gonna try. What do you have planned for us today? Um, so, I'm a short sprinter, so I do blocks. Um, so I wanted to show you guys how to do that. Uh, pretty much just like how to set it up and then how to go on from there. Okay. Um, and then maybe after, if you guys are up for it, we can try to learn hurdles. I'm not a hurdler, but like I can have some demo for you. Yeah, we're open and to it. Spoiler alert, we couldn't beat the sun, so no hurdles for us. But let's hear more about the sprinter on the fast lane headed to the Paris Olympics. And just for um, a little introduction to people who may not know your Olympic career. I mean, we went to school together and we were actually on the Jeff K track and field team Whoa. for about one year only but but yeah tell us um about like who you are as an athlete for people who may not know yeah. uh yeah so i competed in the olympics twice this past 2021 and 2016. wow um and i also hold a couple guam national records for track both outdoor and indoor okay. uh, and i ran division one college track at navy so wow yeah. and we gotta we gotta mention that too you're also a um are you a former officer or a current officer from former Wow, but she went to the thing. Naval Academy, guys. Wow. How crazy accomplished. Yeah. You are an accomplished woman. And again, we have to keep saying we're so excited to learn from the best. So let's get into it. Let's, let's go do running. It. Is height a requirement, requirement for oh, there's, no field? there's no requirement, but I mean like, you know, people used to think that like if you're more muscular, you can't really be a sprinter, or, like oh. different things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but we see many different sizes, heights, it's like builds. So it's really interesting that. Fact all-inclusive sport yes we yes, love that that's the yeah. great thing about track yes. and field there's like there's something for everybody I love that. <laughs> yeah. Yay. anybody and everybody can do something in track and field there we go we love to hear it whoa what is this contraption <laughs> okay so, <laughs> so these are blocks um, so all events 400 meters and under use blocks because that's like you know short sprints um, the way I teach people usually like is to do two feet for your front foot and three for your back and the way we find it if you're like completely new to track and field is really fun um Masuka, do you want to stand here <laughs> back to me. i remember <laughs> the push test okay so the push test shows me which one is her dominant foot mm -hmm. and then if this is a completely new track athlete i would have her back foot be her dominant foot oh, so interesting yeah and then, so the front foot would be two feet. Just everyone is so different. Um, everyone has different preferences. You know, just do what works best for you. Can you show us a demonstration? <laughs> yeah. What is the purpose of the, of the block? Uh, so it puts you in a good position to start. Okay. Because, uh, you know, many people think that, oh, the 100 meters and 200 meter, like, you just run it, that's it. It's a lot more technical than that, you know? Yeah. Um, you just want to be in the right position to push off. So you want to think of like your body being like a piston, just push off of the block. You want to be wow. really powerful. Ooh. Okay, who wants to go first? Not me, please. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah, since you are the most experienced out of us three, so. My one year of experience. Give us, give us yeah, a taste of this. And then you could move your body a little forward, like your shoulders. And then you stay there and when you pick up. Ready, set. Right. And then, <laughs> oh my oh, god. <laughs> Pretty much ready for a race off, let's see who's the next track star. Okay, I think ready, Jay? 
Mark, set, go. Our cameraman Jake is so funny. Did you say the fastest power walk? We also tried our hand at shot put. Learning from the best, Jeannie Gerardo with the Guam's national team. When you hold the shot, it's knuckles and then wrap. Knuckles and wrap. Yeah. It's like almost so it's like, like on your. Like this? Yeah. Okay. And so not on your yeah. palm. Yeah. No. Because it's it can't be like this. It has to be. So it's a clean palm. Whoa! Whoa! We had such a great time, we barely noticed that the sun went down. Hope you can still see us. Thank you so much yeah. for yeah. even repping, you know, repping us back home. To, and going to Paris. Of course, yeah. Like, it's always an honor to represent Guam. Yes, you're going. <laughs> are you putting it out there? You are going to for sure. What are you most excited for if you do go? When you do go? This summer. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited for really the whole thing in general because in Tokyo 2021, like COVID was very rampant. Um, no one could really like socialize with each other. You couldn't meet other athletes in different sports in different countries. And that's usually like the big part of it. Like just all these countries yeah. coming together, all these sports, different people. You got this ball. Good <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, we'll be watching you at the Olympics. I'm rooting for you. We'll yes, see. For you. Affirmations. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you think we did too? Well, um, I think Regine left us in the dust a little bit there, but that just goes to show that she's well on her way to the Olympics in Paris this summer. Amen, and girl, we are rooting for you. Mm -hmm. Definitely, for sure. We had so much fun, thank you again. And we can't wait to see, find out what sport, what Olympic sport we're gonna try out next. Yes, definitely. All right, guys, keep it here. More love for Guam when we return. Love for Guam is brought to you by Pepsi. That's what I like. Honey, do you want some milk? Do you ever wonder how your favorite products make their way into your local stores? Most arrive on state-of-the-art mats and vessels that transport containers of food, household items, equipment, and supplies into the islands every week. Because we know that you depend on us, we work closely with our partners to ensure that our shipments arrive on time, all the time, so you can find your favorite products when you need them. We transport the region's most precious cargo that supports successful businesses and promotes a better quality of life for our families. Matson is proud to have been the hometown shipping carrier for Guam, the CNMI, and Micronesia for the past 25 years. And you can count on us to be here for generations to come. At Not Howie says Taco Bell only really hits after midnight, which is why I'm gonna use the Cantina chicken menu to help him see the Taco Bell light. Mm, very juicy. <laughs> Hi. The uh, food hits, right? Are you at Not Howie? Does it hit or does it not hit? I'd say it hits. Yeah, it does hit. I can't lie. Okay, but you did, maybe. The Cantina Chicken Crispy Taco isn't just for late night. Love for Guam is brought to you by Pepsi. That's what I like. Welcome back to LFG Love for Guam. In this next segment, we're here at Dumont at Club Go. That's right, we're here at PMEO's very own concert at Club Go. Let's go! Come along as
as Team KUAM checks out Pia Mia's first concert at Club Zoe. We're definitely feeling the excitement and so are concert goers. We catch up with our friends. Hey ladies, looking amazing. Are you guys excited for Pia Mia? We of are. Of course. We are. Oh, yeah. What are y'all most excited for? The vibes. The vibes, yeah. The vibes. The vibes. Uh, we're, we were vibing today outside. Girls, and we were also bonding over the fact that we're all wearing black. black so, black black. what was the inspiration? Are you guys following the, you know, complicated? Black means complicated, pink means single. Are you guys following it, or it's just a vibe? No, it's just a vibe. I like black. It's my favorite color. I just felt it in my soul. Yes. The vibes are vibing, and the outfits are giving a night to remember about the dark vibes in our soul. Yes. Okay, ladies, and if I could ask you, what is like your favorite song from Pia Mia? What are you like excited to hear her sing? It has, well, I, it's not her song, but it's my favorite one that she sings. It's nice to, nice to know yes. you, let's do it again. How we did it on a one last stand. I more than a friend. Ooh, <laughs> well, we're so excited, right, Sue? So excited, we'll see you guys inside. Yay. See you later. Let's go inside where the party's already popping. So many people turning out to support local. Definitely support your local artists, support your local club, and have fun, enjoy yourself this weekend. We almost lose sight of our cameraman, Vic. Where is he? I think he's downstairs. But he's got the shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see someone who's from Guam bring it back home you know go out there do big things bring it back inspire locals it's amazing
Okay, I'll Get out there. Perfect. I love you. We love you. Oh my god, we love you all. Well, guys, don't go anywhere because let's do it again. Get it? It's a puppy poke feature. You don't want to miss it. Hey, Hello, Love for Guam is brought to you by Pepsi. That's what I like. Looks like it's prime time, Mom. Dr. Garcia? Ooh. Crest Reality Checkup. That grimy film on your teeth is actually the buildup of plaque bacteria, which can cause cavities in months. And your toothpaste just isn't cutting it. Most toothpaste quit working in minutes, but the antibacterial fluoride in Crest Pro Health protects for up to 12 hours. So I can stop cavities before they start. Well, well, can I get a latte? The number one toothpaste brand in America, Crest. <sighs> Unlock your brightest smile with Crest. Available now at Payless. Love for Guam is brought to you by Pepsi. That's what I like. She's a local talent turned international star. Guam grown multi platinum recording artist Pia Mia reaching new heights again and again, from movies to the runway. So many exciting things this year. I'm really excited to be doing more live shows. Um, I you know, love the live aspect of the music industry, and that's one of the main reasons that I wanted to be in this industry, so. The singer-songwriter is now adding author to the list, gearing up for the release of her first novel. I have, yes, my book coming out. It's called Sand, Sequins, and Silicone. You can pre-order it now. It's a romance novel. Um, I've been working on this book for a long time, and it was just another dream that I had that I didn't really know what steps to take or how to get there and now the book is published and coming out so you know it's about the little steps and yeah. just taking a move every day but so we got that and more music. It's a feat she's managed to conquer amid a demanding career, most recently coming off the heels of a festival run in New Zealand and Australia and a special live performance in her island home. I love what I do but it's it's a lot of moving around, it's, it's hard work. And um, just every time I come home, I feel like I can just recharge. And it just, you know, you know what it's like even when you leave just for a vacation yeah. and you come home, it's like you miss it so much. And it's so funny because I was just talking to someone the other day and they were like, oh, so, you know, you've been working in L.A. for 10 plus years. So that's home now. And I'm like, no, <laughs> like I love L.A., but nothing will ever be home except for Guam. Right. And I, I always try to make sure that there's a piece of Guam in everything that I do. <laughs> The singer leaving the island to pursue her stardom at a young age. And despite working in Los Angeles for 10 plus years, she's never forgotten where she comes from. I, I always try to make sure that there's a piece of Guam in everything that I do. So like if you look at the details, like in the Do It Again music video, yes. you know, we have little hints of Guam throughout everything. It's a conscious effort to represent Guam through her art that's giving people around the world a glimpse of our world at home. And her Chamorro heritage. The multi-hyphenate artist always touching base with her cultural values. Our island is made up of such great people. And I think that's something that 
I really look for in people that I work with and people that I associate with and people that I have in my life in Los Angeles. And because it's such a stressful job, it's important to surround yourself with people like that. And I think that's such a strong part of the tomorrow culture is just being so loving and caring. It's a love that extends to her community of artists in Guam who aspire to follow in her footsteps. Pia Mia sharing a small piece of advice for dreamers like her. So if you are, you know, here on Guam and you're not sure what to do, you got to just take little steps, whether that's TikTok or YouTube or Instagram or whatever. Take advantage of the reach that we can have now, even though we're here, you know, on Guam. And while she continues to reach for the stars, it's clear her heart is rooted here in Guam. Love for Guam is brought to you by Pepsi. That's what I like. Love for Guam is brought to you by Pepsi. That's what I like. Welcome back to LMG Love for Guam. We round up the show with a special nightlife performance. That's right, it's all with Claude, a local artist on the rise, also my friend and collaborator. So now I'm Destiny Sims and I'm Mitsuki Hariyama. If you've got a little special something that you would like to showcase, make sure to give us a call or hit us up on social media. Yeah, yeah. 